In this video, we are going to be adding polylines to our Google map. So just to give you an example of what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to, we're going to be calculating the route uh, and then adding these, these polylines. So this is the completed version of the app. So it's not going to quite look like this. The polylines are just going to be gray. Uh, there's going to be no marker, no info window, nothing like that. Just kind of the raw polylines are going to be drawn onto the map. And then later in the later videos in the course, we're going to refine them uh, be able to click them, change them, add the marker, all that stuff. But for this video, we're just going to be adding kind of the, the raw polylines to the map. So we're going to get right into it and start building the method for the polylines. So once again, I have created another gist to save time, so I don't have to type this out. Uh, go to the add polylines to map section and copy, copy that entire method there and go back to Android Studio and then paste it just below. I'm going to put it just below on create, but you can put it wherever you like. Uh, make sure to get all your imports. So I'm just pressing Alt Enter on all these imports, and there we go. So this is the method that's going to be responsible for adding the polylines to the map. So when do we want to call this method? Well, if you look at the input, we're, we're getting a directions result object. Uh, so we need somewhere where we're going to be able to get a directions result object. And if you recall from our, let's see, our calculate directions method, I'm just going to search it, calculate directions method, uh, that takes a marker as an input. And then down here we have a, a callback, so a destination callback, uh, where we're getting a directions result as an input here. So uh, that, this is the perfect place to add our polylines. We, we click on the marker, we get the directions, and then we add the polylines to the map. So add polylines to map, and we're going to pass the result right there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the method. Let's actually walk through it. So the first thing you'll notice is that I'm using a handler, and I'm posting it to the main thread. Uh, you can see, you know, I'm posting it to the main thread because I'm calling looper .get main looper, uh, and I'm using a runnable. So, why do we need to do this request on the main thread? Or sorry, why do we need to add the polylines on the main thread? Because that's basically what I'm doing here. Whenever you make changes to a Google Map, if the Google Map is on the main thread, then you have to uh, you have to do make those changes on the main thread. So. Because add polylines to map is being called inside of this response right here, it's actually it's actually being called within a different context. So in order for us to successfully make the changes to the map, uh, aka add the polylines to the map, we need to make sure that we post it on the main thread. And you can very easily post anything to the main thread by doing this. All all you need to do is go uh, new handler, whoops, new handler, and then do looper dot uh, get get main looper so get main looper and then when you do post and then at new runnable and now anything inside of this run method would be posted to the main thread and that's exactly what we have down here so so just uh, keeping that in mind I need to explain that and now so now inside of inside the run method we are getting all of the directions root objects by calling the roots on the result. So by calling roots, you're getting all the directions roots, all of the, um, I guess, all of the little checkpoints along the way for the polyline. And then you want to um, you want to decode that by writing root overview polyline dot get encoded path. So basically, what that's going to do is that's going to sum up all of the tiny little uh, all the tiny little checkpoints along the route. And then inside here we loop through the latitude and longitude coordinates for that one polyline and then add them to this new decoded path array list. So we're creating a list of latitude and longitude coordinates by looping through the de decoded path and then we're adding them to that array list. And then we can create the polyline by calling add polyline on the Google map and then we want to do new polyline options and then we add all of the little latitude and longitude coordinates for that polyline. So I'm going to explain that one more time because I, I know it's it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird concept. So you get a Google or directions root object. Uh, you get a de what's called a decoded path by calling decode on root dot overview polyline dot get encoded path. And that's going to include that's going to be I have all of the little points uh, for for each of the polylines. Then you, I'm creating a new array list which holds uh, latitude and longitude coordinates, and then we want to loop through that decoded path and add all those latitude and longitude coordinates to that array list of 
uh, latitude and longitude coordinates. Uh, then we can create a polyline by calling add polyline on the Google map and creating a new polyline options object and then adding all of the latitude and longitude coordinates to it. Uh, then we're just going to set some properties. So polyline.setColor, uh, to, to set the color, we're, we're setting it to dark gray and we want to set it to clickable because later on as I, when I showed you the whoops, the completed version of the app, we want our polylines to be clickable so that we can we can uh, select them and change the color and do all that kind of stuff. So that's gen the general process. It's kind of a weird thing to wrap your head around, but basically what you just need to know is it's this result is going to give you uh, a list of I guess checkpoints. Then what we want to do is decode it into latitude and longitude coordinates and then add those latitude and longitude coordinates into an array list and then add that array list of latitude and longitude coordinates to a polyline and then that polyline gets put onto the map. But that's generally it so now let's run it and see if our uh, what, we, what we should see is a grayed out polyline added to the map. So here's the phone. Okay I'm gonna go to the chat room and go to user list fragment and let's click on any one of the users doesn't matter I'll click determine route click yes and now I'm going to zoom in and see if those polylines were added and they were so so that's good so our polylines are successfully being added to the map obviously there's still a lot we got to do here uh, like I can't click on the polylines um, this this should get changed to a marker the polylines uh, aren't yeah they're not clickable so they're not changing color so a lot of it's not it's not showing the trip duration the trip distance any of that stuff so there's still a long a long way we need to go uh, in the next video, we're going to work on clicking and highlighting these polylines.